Now at five, one of the men convicted in the death of six-year-old Kingston Frazier has been released on parole. 12 News' Anna Farish breaks down the message from the parole board. Anna? Well, Melanie, in 2018, D. Allen Washington pled guilty to accessory after the fact in arms robbery. He was sentenced to 15 years in prison, but the state parole board says he met the eligibility requirements for early release. In 2017, six-year-old Kingston Frazier was shot to death after his mother's car was stolen from a Kroger parking lot around 1 o'clock in the morning. Shooter Byron McBride, Dwan Wakefield, and D. Allen Washington were charged in connection to Kingston's death. Tuesday, Washington was granted parole under Mississippi law based on his, quote, eligibility and other factors, end quote. His attorney says, quote, Mr. Washington continues to express his sincerest condolences to the Fraser and Archie families. During this period, Mr. Washington respectfully requests privacy as he takes steps to moving forward in his life, end quote. DA Bubba Bramlett says Washington's charges played a factor in his parole eligibility. After serving 25% of his sentence, he could be up for parole. Bramlett says Washington was also cooperative in the prosecution of McBride and Wakefield. In a statement released today by the Mississippi Parole Board, it says Washington will be subjected to various rules. If any are broken, the board chairman says he will return to prison. And the board says Washington will remain under supervision until December 21st of 2028, followed by five years probation. Now, I spoke with David Archie, Frazier's great uncle, who says the family will hold a press conference tomorrow at the Presidential Hills Park to discuss their feelings on Washington's release. He says the family, though, never received notice of his parole. Melanie, back to you.